The Martin Bay boat ramp at Lake McConaughey, along with the Cedarview Bayside ramp, are now closed to the public. The closure is due to a one-year, $3 million project to improve both areas of the reservoir. The project at the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission's property will improve boating accessibility and create one of Nebraska's first motorized water trail systems. A motorized water trail is a marked route on navigatable waters for recreational use, which will be nice for boaters as Lake McConaughey is the state's largest reservoir. Improved boating access sites at opposite ends of the reservoir will help promote the Western Nebraska recreation area and lake as a prime travel destination for boaters from around the entire Midwest. Martin Bay's lakeside ramp improvements will include the addition of a two-lane boat ramp with a turnaround and a boat staging area. Accessible parking will also be added to the existing lodge, which too will receive surface repairs. New restrooms, fish cleaning stations, loading ramps, and a new boat dock will also be constructed. Meanwhile, on the opposite side of the lake, Cedar View's Bayside ramp improvements will include an extension to the existing boat ramp and also receive repairs to the existing parking lot. Parking slots will also be added. An exit lane at the top of the ramp, new loading ramps, boat docks, and area lighting are all in the works. Both projects are expected to be completed in late 2021. Keep in mind, during that time, the areas will be closed to the public. Currently, boaters looking to access Lake McConaughey may do so at the Spillway Bay and Divers Bay ramp until ice forms in and around those two bays. For ramp availability, one may call the Parks Visitor Center at 308-284-8800. This project is the latest in the continuation of the Game and Parks Lake McConaughey Lake Ogallala Master Plan. That being a 20-year outline of enhancements developed with local stakeholders and businesses. Since its inception back in 2016, nearly $6 million has been invested in repairs and developments at the reservoir and recreation area. Funded largely by the Commission's Capital Maintenance Fund, Park Revenues, and by the Keith County, Visitors, Committee, Tourism, Grants. Say that three times fast. Reporting for News Channel Nebraska in conjunction with the Nebraska Game and Parks, I'm Andy Kleston.